Oh boy. <laughs> That's disgusting. At least there's grease in there, I guess. At least there's some oil in there, and it's just not completely dried. But my goodness, look at that. That's almost vulgar. let it do its thing for a little bit. <laughs> anyway, this is the plug. And uh, I cleaned it off all around the plug. I mean, you couldn't even see it before it was caked with dirt and stuff. So <clears throat> anyway, we'll let that do its thing. And all right, here's the filler plug. This is also uh, the uh, left foot rest. If you're sitting in the driver's position, your shift is right there. And that plug uh, is underneath and a little bit behind of this, underneath on the, on the fuselage of the, of the tractor. <clears throat> so this is where you fill the rear end and transmission with oil. So we got to take this off anyway, so I might as well do that while the thing is uh, draining. Well, that's unfortunate. right in half. Threads are still inside the uh, housing there. Son of a gun. Didn't see that coming. Huh. So they say that as far as the fill level, when you go to put the new gear oil in, you fill it just to below this cap. We still got a lot of yet to go. It's still just very thick. And what I'm going to have to do is put some kerosene down there on top of that to hopefully dilute it and or force it out the bottom <clears throat> sort of help it along its way because at this rate we're going to be here all winter and then I got to get these threads out here and this looks like the same size cap as the oil uh, drain plug for the crankcase looks like it does have the same part number 
F-1884 and the word Fordson right above it. So we need a new one of these and get those threads out and flush the system with kerosene. And it's also the same part number as the air washer container plug. There's one here and there's one on the bottom. So there's two in this unit. Same part number as the crankcase drain plug. Same part number as the filler plug for the rear end. F-1884. And like I said, these are just made out of pop metal. That's why that one broke off. It was just uh, crumbling to bits. This is the stuff that we're going to use. Mobile 600 weight <clears throat> super cylinder oil. Five gallon bucket. Yeah, I don't know how much it's going to take, but it ain't going to take five gallons, so we're good. And as long as we're here, this is the oil that I used for the engine. 30 weight non detergent lubricating oil. Um, each one of these uh, containers is five quarts. So uh, you need to use the, the tractor holds about two and a half gallons of um, oil. So two of these jugs is just about the perfect amount. There we go. It's even more vulgar now than it was before. Still coming out though. So the only thing I'm not going to be able to do very well is uh, get this kerosene around up and in, up inside where all the gears are and the differential and everything like maybe if I jack it up and put it in gear and then spin the wheels maybe that'll get some of it up there but um, what's important is to get this sludge out of there and the only way to really do that is to just wait Keep putting some kerosene. This is definitely helping. But the key to this operation is just going to be patience. Even if it takes 24 hours. It's not as bad as it was. So I'm just going to put this uh, broken cap back on and at least keep the bugs and stuff out until I replace it. But I'm going to let that drain for the rest of the day, maybe overnight.
I got the threads out. These things are just made out of uh, pot metal. So I thought that job was going to be bigger to get those threads out that got stuck in there, but it just sort of crumbled away. I hit it with a hammer and a chisel. It was no problem at all. I have to use my trusty coffee can again because this five gallon bucket is too large to uh, hold over the opening there. So we'll see how many coffee cans worth of oil this takes. And then because I'm a total nerd, I'll try to determine the volume of the coffee can and see how much went in. Super cylinder oil, 600 weight. So that's about it.